It was 11 p.m. Saturday, the 23rd of March, 2024. The pale blue glow of the screen. The world around me is silent. I was falling down the YouTube rabbit hole, drifting from video to video without thinking. Let me know 2D documentaries that bend your mind. Johnny Harris turning global headlines into cinematic masterpieces. Imangaji's edits so pristine, they felt like they belonged in theaters, not on a platform. Then suddenly, in the middle of this ocean of mesmerizing content, one question struck me like lightning. A question that changed everything. Could I create something people simply cannot stop watching? I had nothing. No skills that mattered. No fancy camera gear. No editing software experience. No YouTube channel with even a single subscriber. Just a burning idea eating away at my mind. But I realized something that night, something that most people miss entirely. In this attention economy, editing isn't just a skill. It's the difference between being invisible and being impossible to ignore. That's when it hit me if I wanted to create my dream YouTube channel. I couldn't just wing it with raw footage and hope for the best. I had to master editing first. Every viral video, every channel that explodes overnight, every creator who builds their empire, they all have one thing in common. They understand that editing is the language of the internet. It's how you hack human psychology. It's how you turn 10 minutes into an experience someone can't pause. So at exactly 11.47 p.m., staring at that glowing screen, I made myself a promise that would devour the next 365 days of my existence. I would edit something every single day. No exceptions, no excuses, because I knew this was the only path to my dream YouTube channel. Sure, I could write decent scripts, come up with interesting ideas, maybe even film decent footage. But to enter the YouTube battlefield and build a channel that actually matters in this insane competition, you need more than good content. You need content that hijacks attention and refuses to let go. This wasn't going to be some weekend hobby. No random cuts that scream amateur. No mindlessly copying basic YouTube tutorials that teach you software buttons, but nothing about the dark psychology that actually captures human souls. I was going full on obsession mode. I would dissect how Mr. Beast hooks you in the first three seconds. This wasn't about learning software shortcuts or becoming good at editing. This was about turning myself into a psychological weapon. When I first started with After Effects, I knew nothing, literally nothing. I spent weeks just clicking every button in After Effects, testing every effect just to see what it did. One question kept haunting me. How do people create insane animations from an empty screen? For a moment, I even thought maybe I was using the wrong software. But the more I watched, the clearer it got. It wasn't the tool, I just had to push through. In the first month, I hit problems inside After Effects. I couldn't even find solutions for. The first three months were pure hell. It was the worst. And if you're wondering why it took me three months just to understand the basics, it's simple. I didn't have any courses. I was alone, searching for everything on YouTube. I had no friends to ask about After Effects. I was completely alone, and to be honest, I still learn everything alone. At month three, I made my first background. Yeah, it's super basic, but it took me four hours. And trust me, you don't know how happy I was. It was the first time I made something that felt cinematic and alive, because before that, all I had were stupid animations that made no sense. Month six, the first real breakthrough. Three more months of grinding, six months total since that late night promise i finally started creating animations that looked professional it was in that old iman gaji style you know the one only beginners use now but back then for me it was everything i finally had something i could share on youtube without dying of embarrassment september month nine everything changed i created what i thought was an absolutely insane animation maybe it doesn't look insane to you now but 
what you're seeing took me seven full days to complete. Seven days. Every frame was crafted with obsessive precision. Every transition was tweaked until it felt perfect. That animation wasn't just motion graphics, it was proof that I could compete. Just one month after my insane animation, my phone buzzed with a DM that changed everything. My first client, $200 for a 25 minute video. I spent 10 days crafting every single animation, every transition, every detail. It was pennies compared to what I charge now, but back then it felt like winning the lottery. I got that client through cold outreach on Instagram, no portfolio website, no fancy proposals, just raw hustle and a few decent animations. Three months later, I started learning Premiere Pro. Unlike After Effects, Premiere felt intuitive. Cuts, sound design, color grading. I absorbed it all like a sponge maybe because After Effects had already broken me once and rebuilt me stronger. Around that time, I started creating spec ads just for the pure thrill of it. A Netflix commercial nobody asked for. A severance ad series, just because I love that show so much. These weren't paid gigs, they were my creative playground, my way of pushing limits when client work wasn't enough. And that's when the high paying clients started showing up, but not in the way you think. I didn't get them from YouTube fame. I didn't blow up on X or Instagram. Honestly, I'm terrible at playing the algorithm game there. And I always found going viral on social media painfully overrated. So how did I do it? Outreach. DM by DM, cold messages, personalized pitches, Twitter, Instagram, wherever my ideal clients were hiding, I went hunting for them. No fancy portfolio, no shiny website, my only proof of work, my YouTube channel, my X feed, my Instagram, that's it. I know it sounds backward, but here's my logic. Most of the client projects, I did never felt like me. They paid the bills, sure, but creatively, they weren't mine. That's why you'll barely see client work on my feeds. I'd rather fill my channel with ideas from my own brain, not recycled scripts from someone else. So every edit you see on my X or my YouTube, it's something new, something weird, something mine. And maybe that's why the right clients kept coming back. Now, Let's talk about where I actually learned everything because you probably have a question burning in your mind. Wait, wasn't editing just a tool for his YouTube channel dream? Exactly, you're right. Editing was never the destination, it was the weapon. I knew that to build a channel worth watching, I had to master the one thing that holds attention in our chaotic digital world. So I went all in. I didn't buy expensive courses or coaching programs. I found creators on YouTube who taught real knowledge, completely free, and absorbed everything they offered. Here's exactly where I learned everything. And hey, before I mention anyone else, let me shamelessly plug my own channel for a second. Just kidding, but not really. I actually do have some solid tutorials here like how to color grade from scratch in Premiere Pro and how to get that clean Apple style polish that makes everything look expensive in After Effects. If you're curious, check them out after this video. For After Effects Mastery, Sanduk film, a lot of what I know about making animations look clean and professional, came from watching him break down complex concepts into digestible steps. Maple creative and practical, he'll show you how to build that signature Vox style collage editing or craft those mini documentary styles you see in Lemino or Imperial videos. If you love story driven edits, this channel will expand how you think. Ben Marriott, perfect starting point if you're completely new. He covers fundamentals without overcomplicating things. Plus he shares animation techniques you won't find in every generic tutorial out there. For Premiere Pro Excellence, Hillier Smith, probably the most valuable channel if you want to understand why an edit works, not just how to push buttons. His breakdowns reveal how storytelling, pacing, and subtle cuts can transform a simple video into something that feels cinematic. 
Premier Gal extremely beginner friendly. If you want clear, organized walkthroughs for all the essential skills, she explains everything without wasting your time. Her teaching style makes Premier feel approachable instead of overwhelming. Jack Cole. This isn't just software training. He shares real strategies for landing freelance clients and building editing income, which was incredibly helpful when I had no idea how to approach people for paid work. In the end, there are thousands of channels out there that can help you master Premiere Pro or After Effects. What I shared here is just a drop in the ocean. So stay curious, stay dynamic, and always be ready to dig deeper for the tricks, tools, and ideas that will push your editing skills to the next level. The final truth you need to know. I didn't start with talent, money, or connections. I started with one thing that 99% of people don't have. Obsession. Not passion. Not interest. Not casual curiosity. Obsession. The kind that makes you spend four hours on a simple background and feel like you've conquered the world. The kind that makes you analyze every frame of a Mr. Beast video until you understand the psychology behind each cut. That obsession is the only reason you're watching this video right now. And if you're serious about creating something people can't stop watching, if you're serious about turning your dreams into reality, you need to find that same obsession within yourself. Because talent is common. Passion fades. Equipment breaks. But obsession? Obsession is the only currency that matters in the attention economy. And once you have it, nothing can stop you.